that okay for everyone? Hey guys, name's Finn, playing some Dishonored. Uh, this is, I think, like 95 FOV or something, and it's too bad you have to constantly tap it all the time whenever you reload or something. Oh well, I'm probably gonna forget a whole bunch, but uh, <laughs> for now, let's play some cool game wherein whale oil provides power for everything. Even automatic transmission fluid and cosmetics, which if you ask me, that's pretty funny, right? Because whale oil is sometimes gotten from sperm whales, and so using it for cosmetics is like... Okay, let's not go there. <laughs> anyway, these are kind of like those spider-wrapped guys in webs in Thief, except differently shaped and bleeding from their eyes and SCREAMING! That's pretty cool, right? Man, I'm supposed to have a zoom. I keep saying that. I know I'd probably get it late. Oh my god! Let's do that again. Okay, this time with more revelatory drama. So get ready. Here. Also, I love how the light changes to like light and green and me. <laughs> I'm Samuel, and I work for some good people who want very much to meet you. Well, they said you'd come out here. I can still hardly believe it. I'll take you to meet them. Just down the river from here. Okay. Yeah. Well, I just want to look around a bit. Look around if you need. I'll be here. This don't take too long. All right. Wow. Yeah, I totally want to take in the view. Look at this. <laughs> Whatever. I've said enough about it. Let's just explore. Oh, I'm being bitten by parasites or something. That's that's pretty great. I guess leeches are in the water here. <laughs> I just wasted a bunch of my health. That's unfortunate. I was gonna go all like, this is a life aquatic with Fenzisu, but I guess that's not happening. So let's just admire the sewer out porridge, which looks rather clean for sewer water, but I guess these people, what with their industrialization, are obviously just green as hell. I wonder if that's how an ordinary ye old whaling ship looked where they carry it. That's pretty impressive. I get writing on this. Okay, fine, let's go. Got a hot meal and a warm bed waiting for you. Okay, old man. Funny how this is a silent protagonist as opposed to Garrett. It's pretty hilarious, right? Oh, hey. It's a mission complete screen kind of thing. Okay. Um, that guy kind of looks like the facial expression of the soldier from uh, in TF2, you know. So apparently somebody said that the kill count doesn't count for this mission for some reason. But, uh... I guess that makes sense since the rats get him, but it still counts it there, so maybe it just doesn't count count? I don't know, it's still got a low chaos, I... Well, I didn't get that, so I guess it does count. Hmm, runes, well, I guess there was... Wow, there was that much money? Well, I guess there was that one place I skipped... Two places I skipped to get around the people in that one, uh... First building there, and then I missed some loot in the safe, so yeah, I can get with that. <coughs> Well, nice boat you got here. I'm sort of this sitting. This town pits pub, closed for business. Half the district marked off is dead from the plague. We're right under the Lord Regent's nose, and he don't know a thing. I'm sitting on the edge for some reason. Oh, never mind. Nice. The views in this game are if spectacular. Anyone finds out what we're up to. Spectacular. Watch will break in with swords drawn. And now that you've escaped. Lord Regent's going to be tearing the city apart. Take you up to meet Admiral Havelock and the rest of the Royalists. The Admiral's a man to be reckoned with. If anyone can help you find that missing girl, Lady Emily, and clear your name, he can. Wow. Simply genius. <laughs> Alrighty. Well. I guess the Hound Pits is not actually a pit, but a pub. Oh man, clues! 
Samuel the Boatman has smuggled you across the river from Cold Ridge Prison. He works for an underground movement opposed to the illegal reign of Lord Regent and has brought you to meet the members of the organization. Not really a clue so much as like a statement of fact that's kind of obvious. I guess if you forget where to go. God, no, I want to look at all this. Why can't I swim in the water? Can I swim in the water? And there's fish waiting for me. I want to jump onto that island for no reason. Because <laughs> it's, it's a good island of industrial slag or something. Well, no, mud. Mud's not the same as slag, but uh, that crown icon looks awfully familiar. I bet they stole it whole and half sail from real life, but no. And that shadow's a bit wrong. <laughs> this game sucks. Man, I'm going to take a sightseeing tour through here later. Just <laughs> I so want to play this by myself just looking at stuff like... Look at all the stuff they put here that you don't even have to look at. Like, you're supposed to go over there, and yet they put all this detail way over here. And I'm, like, annoying everybody by not going on through the game or something. Maybe if I go there, I'll get caught. This looks a lot like real life. There's real life places where they, they have these old worn things from, like, old 50s stuff still there with graffiti all over them and stuff. <laughs> oh, man. And there's the Hound Pits pub. Well, okay, fine. All right, let's go, old man. I expect they're hard at work in there. Best join them. They'll help you get whoever really killed the Empress. Very nice smoke effect, although I think it's just a 2D graphic. Okay. I'm sure the Admiral was anxious to meet you. Starting at last, I mean. It wasn't easy getting you here. Oh, man. Even after six months in Cold Ridge Prison, he slipped out like it was nothing. Yes, not surprising. He was the personal bodyguard of the Empress. You've heard the stories. Yes, I have. It still amazes me that someone could get to the Empress and young Lady Emily. No one knows the real story, Trevor. We all have our suspicions. We'll know the truth in time. He's strong and quick. But I hope he understands subtlety as well. Sure this do. This is one of your fancy dress parties. The reality is that we need men killed. Have you ever killed a man? Only with my will. But it's a fair point, as always. He'll be here soon, and I'm looking forward to meeting him. <laughs> yes, I'm an old, oldish, middle-ish, old-school taffer, and I understand something. We subtlety. can continue this later, Lord Pendleton. The man of the hour is here. Corvo, I'm Admiral Havelock. A true servant of the Empire, like you. Until the Lord Regent purged those of us who wouldn't recognize his claim on the throne. And I'm Lord Trevor Pendleton. I represent the nobility in our little group, but we all act as equals here at the Hound Pits pub. This is a momentous occasion, Corvo. I'm going to come out with it. We've been building a coalition of loyalists, aimed at ending the Lord Regent's tyranny and restoring the throne. At risk of execution, we're committed to finding young Lady Emily and seeing her crowned as Empress. Well done. We've got big plans, but we can't do any of it without you. We need your skills, your ability in a fight, and in helping us. We're going to help you destroy the men who murdered the Empress. Sorry. You must be exhausted. We can discuss this further after you've recovered. Sure. But before you retire, you should introduce yourself to Piero. He's challenging at times, but his industrious mind buys him that right. Yes. Piero's as much an artist as a technician. He's going to be crafting the gear you'll need. Go talk to him, and then get some sleep. We can talk more when you've rested. Those cigarettes are very large <laughs> and stuff. Also, this game, they, these people had to have played Beyond Good and Evil, too, because this is almost just like that, where you, to have you with us, join the underground... Uh, you join the underground thing? I'm distracted because of all these voices and have subtitles. Have you yet? He made the weapons we left for you on yeah, your Yeah, okay. I don't know where Piero is, but Go is he here? Where, where is Piero? They didn't tell me where he was, or give me a clue about that. Like, that would have helped, probably. <laughs> um, I'm guessing upstairs is where I'm supposed to retire for the night, but probably not, because he stopped me from going that other way instead of upstairs. But yeah, Beyond Good and Evil, you, you joined the, the thing to, like, get back the rightful thing, and you got the underground thing, and they're like, we can't do it without you, and, and, and that's pretty cool. So I could still look through the keyhole, even if I have no key. Why would I want to go back to the sewers? That's a horrid idea. But I can at least still grab me some, you know, processed whale oil, which, instead of doing anything useful with it, I just pawn it and sell it off like a frickin' crackhead. Wow. <laughs> Nothing in this game 
so far has done anything to change my mind that it's great. It just keeps... <laughs> just keeps being... Oh, hey, are you Piero? No, you're Wallace. Okay, then. How do you do? If I may, I am the personal assistant to Lord Pendleton, and one of the senior servants at Pendleton House, as was my father. Now I am entrusted with this house, the home of the Loyalists. I have never seen the Admiral fail at any venture. If order can be restored to the city of Dunwall, I believe he can do it. If anyone can get your old life back, it's him. Well, good. Now I'll go upstairs and try to find Pierre, the great rock of centuries. I don't know why I'm thinking Pierre is a rock. It's weird. Raukau's run man or something? Oh, hey, it's a bunch of paper that looks like towels. That's... That's cool, I guess. Yeah, okay. Third floor. Well, I wonder how they count floors here, British or American style. I don't know, I suppose it really doesn't matter much, but I wouldn't want to be sleeping here. It's pretty mildewy, you understand. Where's... where's that Pierrot? Le... Le Pew. Corvo... What? Um... I don't have objectives, per se, so... I guess I don't want to be up here, because this is where I sleep, as I thought. Wait, what the hell's all this? Is this the guy? No. Pendleton? <laughs> Adventure time! Pleased to meet you, Master Corvo. I saw you at court in... happier days. But you might not remember. Oh, yeah. I was once a close ally to the Lord Regent, Hiram Burroughs, back when he was just the spy master. He's one manipulative bastard, I can tell you that. Yeah, that guy even said his name before, and yet I only just realized it's hilarity now. Well, at least it's not a whale oil jelly deal thing. My furnishings have been installed at last with no small amount of complaining by that antiquated boatman. The others have no idea what it's like to suffer as I have. Speaking of which... Wallace! Please breathe two bottles of Dunwall Red, never mind which, and fetch a clean glass. <sighs> well, I'll begin again tomorrow. Breathe? I don't think you're supposed to breathe a liquid. You know what? I just stole from that guy. That probably made my chaos rating go up. <laughs> I should... I don't know. Even if it didn't, I should remember to not to do that necessarily. Because... Although I can obviously read people's journals. <laughs> Sea shanty sung by oh, oh, I can use my mouse. Okay. What will we do with the drunken whaler? This is the song from the trailer, of course. What will we do with a drunken trailer? Uh, which, yeah. The trailer for the game is really cool. If you haven't seen it, even though I'm playing the game right now, go watch it, because it's really nice. And, uh... <laughs> and it's like a little girl singing it, because the trope of little girls singing do not really scary... Or care for a friend or family member who shows signs oh of blood on their face and me. chest area. Ah, you the could only, only be Corvo. Ah! Talking at once? To bring them to I the suppose city you're watch. practicing for your... Taken to the well, your job? For treatment. You're much younger than I expected. Do make yourself at home. Terrible you got blamed for the death of the Empress, rest her spirit. Alright. Anyways, this is exactly Half-Life 2. Look, you go in a room, it's empty, there's this white, grayish, busted aesthetic, there's radiators, you look out a window, there's a street below, and there's Wallace Breen talking. So... Cool. <laughs> I don't know, some people might find this a bit shameless, but, uh... Oh well, this isn't anybody's room, right? So I'm gonna not feel bad about stealing loot, ever. And, uh, you look a bit stick-thin there, mate. I'm not gonna take your key, I mean, I don't know. Litany on the White Cliff. A series of overseer invocations. Okay. As I say to you, brothers, it is here that we make our stand as a righteous force against the growing darkness. It is here that we unite against the spirits of the unknown that would drag us screaming into the night, never to return to our homes, to our families. Together we will serve as a rod to those who would stray from the herd for the foggy grey wastes of the outsider. We will burn a bright fire with our virtuous actions so that others will not lose their way. And to those who choose to wander beyond the walls of our homes in far places, we will strike at them swiftly before they whisper to their neighbors, filling their hearts with strangeness and doubt. Not sure if this is saying something for or Attention against me. Dunwall citizens. 
Be advised, the river yeah, 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 the infestation. Anyways, yes, the trope of having little girls sing like really creepy, violent things in a very non realized full voice for creepy effect is well used. And, uh, you know, yeah. I guess I'm trying to pick stuff up from places where I think that it won't necessarily be seen as me stealing or something. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of reading material here. Wow, the shadow of <laughs> Okay. Finding my way by the feeble light of the dying fire, I saw her working. A large needle moved in her hand, following precise esoteric patterns, knots and loops of seamstress craft from ancient days. Beneath her needle, his body clenched and shuddered, shaking the wooden table. A morbid fascination pushed me closer until she turned her blank face toward me, resting the needle in his flesh. With a refined tone, she addressed me. So you are the lover, I presume. You too have been unfaithful, and it is now your turn to be mended. <laughs> wow, that's some light fiction there. Oh, wow. A theater play. <laughs> Reminds me of Thief 2X. I wonder if it says silly. Maybe not. Lord Nathan Bale, shaking with outrage. How dare you, sir, clothed so in my very home? I shall hand you over to the watch, depraved Tyvion. That's a harsh welcome for royalty, my lord. Your daughter treated me with much more hospitality. Alas, she has gone out for the evening, leaving me all alone. <laughs> You've gone too far this time, you camel-mannered! What are you doing? Leave this house! Go back to your frozen wasteland, you camel-mannered tunic-wearing mollycoddle! <laughs> no need for anger between us, Lord Bale. Is it so wrong for me to be here? As I've proven, I have developed an affinity for you and your family. <gasps> oh my! Kalasar, your skin is so warm it burns! What? <laughs> Okay, <laughs> what the hell that's all about? Oh, wow. Okay. Ugh. A Gaffer's Tale, Volume 2, or A Gaffer's Final Passage. After more than a quarter of a century, I am done with whaling, too broken to continue. I've seen all the corners of the isles and made more coin than most men see in a lifetime. But it's all gone. I've lived through an emperor and watched his daughter take the throne. Fair young empress she was, but slain so young. Everything beautiful comes to die. I've eaten in every port of the known world and sailed in the loneliest waters you could imagine. I've seen the cliffs around Pandicia. Even the best of it doesn't give me an ounce of joy. The years come back across my dreams as a line of butchered bodies, long sleek and singing among the waves under the moonlight, only to be speared by ugly, weather-scarred men who'd knife each other for a good pair of boots. This is too serious for my chosen accent. Each year I had less time to come home. My tongue forgot the language of small chatter, and those who lived in the cities thought me odd. My sister Nina hardly knew what to say to me during our visits. When she lost her business to the Lord Regent's crooked barrister, I was a hundred miles east of Morley, gaff-hand frozen from the sleet as we tracked the first bull whale we'd seen in months. I helped her as much as I could, but Nina died in the early days of the plague. None of it mattered. If I'm jaded and bitter, it's because this industry has taken away my dreams. The world has beaten me. Oh. Well, that's so sad. Then I'm gonna leave it here. I told you I'd forget to tap that button after I reloaded this. <laughs> Whatever. See you guys next time. And bye. For now.